right guys welcome back so we aren't gonna waste too much time doing an intro and talking we're just gonna get right into it because as you can see we have quite a bit of body jewelry here and it is all sorts of jumbled up it is just it's a lot here I don't even know what some of this stuff is it's just been collecting and gathering for like two three years now so it's just time to go through it I have two of these little plastic containers I got these off of Amazon maybe about three years ago or so and I really like them for body jewelry I would love to be able to condense everything down to one instead of having two of them this one gets used the most because this is where most of my body jewelry is and this one is just extras like my stretching kit and you know reference cards and little bags and just things like that so we're just gonna go through these and what I keep is what I keep and what I throw out is what I throw out I do have a paper towel laid down on my table because I do have a glass table and I don't want there to be a bunch of glare coming back at you guys so we are gonna be doing everything over a paper towel and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the most empty one first I think that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna move on to the big guy the main event right here we're gonna start with this box right here and then we are going to move on to this one so let's let's get into it you guys let's declutter my body jewelry for 2023 here we go Okay, and I did go on my little label maker thingy and I did make a bunch of labels for these things so that way I can put things in their correct spot and I can stick a label so we just have septum, ear, helix, navel, lip, nose, gauges, tools, um, earrings, piercing care, rings. Let's just start going through this stuff. So I have all of these little paper things and these I've gotten in past body jewelry orders and I actually find these to be really, really helpful for when I'm trying to figure out the gauge of something or the length of something or, or the diameter of something. And as you can see, I have quite a few of them. So I think I'm, I'm not gonna keep all of these obviously because that's just a little bit excessive. All right, this one I do really like because it tells you what millimeter things are. So a 16 gauge is 1.2 millimeters, 14 gauge is 1.6. Uh, I just find this to be really helpful, especially when I'm ordering body jewelry and I need to reference something. That's really helpful. And these I use all the time. Like these are so incredibly helpful. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because as you can see, it is a little bit bent and just worn out. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I'm going to keep, let's see, these two are literally the exact same. So I think I'm gonna keep this one right here. So as you can see, they're literally the exact same thing, but I'm gonna keep this one because it's in the best condition. And I'm also going to keep my little body candy one, just cause this one, um, you can like, I like these because you can actually lay barbells down on these and you can see exactly what gauge they are. It's really, really helpful. Same with the ball sizes. I love that, so um, I'm gonna keep this one as well. So let's see, I have some Pro Pierce tea tree oil. I should probably get rid of this because it's probably really old. I mean, it still smells fine, but I don't know. I've had this for so long and I don't really need it anymore, so I'll probably just get rid of this and then order some new stuff on Amazon because I haven't had to use tea tree oil for a piercing in, pff, gosh, probably, see six seven years I think that's the last time I used tea tree oil on a piercing so this is pretty old so we can get rid of that this next thing right here this is something that I thought would come in handy but honestly I don't really use it all that much and it's this little ball holder so I don't know how well you can see that but it's so if you have if you have a hard time like gripping the little balls on your body jewelry this basically helps you grip those balls and then it helps it twist but the thing I don't like about this is the balls have to be really, really large for this to work. They don't really work that well on like the smaller ball sizes, so that's kind of disappointing, but I'm gonna keep it anyway because I have used this and it does come in handy. I think I used this to change my rook piercing a couple times, and so yeah, that's a definite keep. Uh, these back here, um, I know right away that I will be getting rid of these. I got these off of Amazon. I actually showed these in a Amazon plug haul. I think I actually called it a fail, um, but I got these little white spiral plugs. My first holes are a double zero or a 10 millimeter, 
and that's why I got these because these were advertised as a double zero but they are the furthest thing from it uh, they are absolutely massive this has got to be like half an inch or more um, way too thick and they do not fit in my ears so I'm not gonna be keeping these next we have little alcohol wipes in here uh, these are just good to keep I don't know how old these are though so I'm gonna open one up and I'm just gonna see how wet they are Ooh, ow, 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 I have a, like a paper cut right here. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so they, they're they still pretty wet. Um, Yeah, so I'll probably keep these for a little while longer. I just wanted to see, because I mean if I were to open one and one would be completely dry, the others would probably be completely dry, but yeah. I just like to keep these in my piercing kit. Um, especially, I like Sometimes I like to use them in my ears to alcohol clean my ears, because sometimes if you have a bunch of ear piercings, then you know they can get really, really nasty. So I'm going to keep these. Uh, I have a bunch of these little bags. Just bags that like body jewelry has come in. They're just, oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Like look at this. Crazy. I do not need all of these. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, there's something in this one. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little... Little rag thing. No, but this video is not sponsored by Urban Body Jewelry or Body Candy or Ofer. Not sponsored at all. I just have a lot of um, merch, I guess, memorabilia, body jewelry from these places. So you're going to see a lot of, especially Urban Body Jewelry, you're going to see a lot of this face in here, but it's not sponsored. So there's like a little cloth in here and some, <laughs> some little pins. So I think I'm gonna keep just one of these bags for travel purposes because if, I mean, I don't travel very much, let's just be honest here, but if I am gonna be traveling, I like to bring extra body jewelry in case I lose a ball or I lose a ring or something like that. So I'll probably keep one of these for travel. I think the one I wanna keep is the Urban Body Jewelry one because this one, it just feels the nicest and it has, you know, body jewelry on it so I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of these guys okay and then right here um, this is where I keep my ear stretching kit stuff this is the exact stuff that I use to stretch my ears when I started that journey so this is actually really cool to see I haven't seen this stuff in a long time I'm actually um, yeah okay I'm gonna keep my stretching kit stuff just because you know if I want to stretch something from a 16 to a 14 or if I want to stretch my third lobe someday or if I want to keep stretching up my second lobes uh, this will definitely come in handy so I'm going to keep all of this stuff and I'm just gonna set it off to the side I also have these little, I think these are double zero. They just look like black tapers. So I don't really need them to be perfectly honest with you. So we're gonna set these off to the side as a maybe because I don't know, I just, I don't really need them to be honest. Uh, here we have some rings and I think two of these I'm going to keep. So I just have three rings, you know, that you wear on your finger, duh. Uh, I'm going to keep this one. This is my class ring from high school. That's what it looks like there. I graduated in 2012, so what was that, 10, 11, 11 years ago, and I still have my class ring, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that for sure. I have a diamond ring in here. It is a real diamond, I do know that, but I don't want to just throw that in the trash, and this was from my mom, I believe. I think I actually got it sized for my thumb, but it doesn't look like it fits my thumb anymore. See, let's try this one. Oh, it does fit my thumb. Cute. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely going to hang on to this one. And then this one, oh my gosh, I think I got this from, holy guacamole, um, Romwe or something like that forever ago, like 10 years ago or something. And I just don't wear it. I mean, it's cute, but I just... I don't wear it, so we're gonna get rid of that guy. Next we have, oh boy, okay. So I have some eight millimeter and some 10 millimeter Bioplast pushback earrings. I don't know guys, I don't really have a use for these. I mean, I do like these a lot. Um, I used to wear these a lot when I had my Monroe pierced, but they're not, big enough for my Medusa or Labre, so, and I don't think I'll wear these in my ears ever, 
So I think I'm gonna get rid of, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the eight millimeter ones, the little colorful gem ones. I don't even know how well you can see that, but they just have a bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna get rid of those and I'm gonna hang on to the 10 millimeter ones for now. We'll just set those off to the side. All right, and it looks like we just have some random stuff in these last two. This one over here looks to be regular earrings, like 20 gauge, like the standard size that you would wear for earrings. Like everything used to have a place in here and now it just doesn't. It's just kind of like a crazy jumbled mess. So, okay, these ones. Okay, I get questions all the time when I wear these. Now, I was wearing these in my uh, tunnels for a while, just for a little add added like badassery, but before my ears were stretched and I just had regular earrings, I would wear these all the time and people always ask me where I got these. These were bought probably back in 2009 from Claire's, okay? I get questions all the time on these, but they're just like 20 gauge, like horseshoe earrings for ear holes, regular ear holes. Oh my God, do people go bananas when I wear these? So I get questions a lot. Um, I'm gonna keep these for sure. Regular earrings right here. And I do know that these right here, I do know that this pair right here, these are real diamonds. So I'm gonna keep those for sure. These ones are fake. I'm probably gonna part with those. Uh, it looks like I have a couple of CBRs right here, and they're actually a matching pair, so that's nice. What they're doing in this one, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I'm gonna keep those 100%. I have my little heart-shaped jewelry. This is what was in my date originally when I got it pierced. All right, we have a little itty bitty teeny tiny CBR and then and then these little 20 gauge pushbacks right here. I don't have anything small enough that would fit these. Uh, 20 gauge is just too small and same with this one. I think this is like a an 18 or a 20. I mean, this could make a good nose pierce, a good nose ring, I guess, but the diameter is too big. So I don't think I'm gonna keep any of these. I think I'm gonna part with these ones as well. All right, guys, look at that. We've got one total thing empty. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave these completely empty until we go through the other one, and then we'll kind of decide where we're gonna put things. But feeling really good. We got one down, one to go. Now we're gonna move on to the big guy. Like I said earlier, this is where a great majority of my body jewelry is stored. Oh my gosh, look at, oh, that's so overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed, this is already a lot. All right, so I'm trying to decide how this is going to be <laughs> the, the least stressful way for me to film this and do this. You really get down in the nitty gritty of it. Like, look at, look at all of these little single pieces in here. Look at all of these little single pieces in here. Like, you guys, this is, this is a lot. Like, look at this bags of stuff, like, Look at this. this. Okay, we're gonna start back here. Uh, this portion right here, this whole little like, I don't know, sideways P shape right here is where I keep all of my tunnels, plugs, uh, gauges, you know, whatever you wanna call them. So we'll start there. Uh, these ones, 100% definitely keeping. Uh, these white and black angel wing ones, definitely keeping. I just got those ones. I do have these white spiral pairs right here, which I do love these. Uh, but the issue I'm having with these ones is I don't know if you can see on camera or not. Like, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But these are actually quite discolored. Like, they're white up here where my ear sits. But then down here, they kind of have like a yellowy tinge. Are you guys picking this? Is this picking up on camera? I have no freaking idea. So I want to ask you guys, I'm going to keep these for now. Is there a way for me to whiten these back up? Like, do I soak them in bleach? What do I do with them? Um, if there's no way to save them, I'll get rid of them because they look really janky. But if there's a way that I can save them and make them nice and bright white again, please let me know down below. But I do have these ones. I have these really cool glass ones that honestly, I need to wear more because these are so cool. I just don't wear them enough. Uh, but I have these like, 
they almost look like little like tentacles like octopus tentacles or something I don't know they're really freaking cool but they're like the red orange and they go down into the pink so I have these ones right here definitely gonna keep those and then I have these beautiful blue and white spiral ones these ones and the other ones were from Amazon uh, really really cool I love these it's ew, these could actually use a wash oh my god I'm so disgusting did I not wash these before I put them was I drunk okay we're gonna keep these but we need to wash these before we put them back in there that is absolutely disgusting all right moving on over here we have this set that I absolutely love. I've done hauls on all of this stuff. I just can't remember off the top of my head where everything is from, but it is these right here are double zeros. They're the little twist backs and they have little swords. Absolutely love these, 150,000% will be keeping those. Um, I have this little like brooch pin. I think Ofer sent this to me, to be honest with you. Looks like we have another regular earring, which I don't know why it would be in with my tunnels, but yeah, we have a regular earring right here. It's just this little like black cross moment. That's cool. I'm going to put this with my regular earrings though, because as you can see, it is a very uh, small gauge. So we'll put that with my regular earrings. We're going to do, so we have almost this whole top portion emptied. We're going to move on to these ASMR. So these are all of my plugs, tunnels, double flared, single flared, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and as I was looking in these, huh, okay, I am a actual trash goblin because some of these look like they haven't been washed. So I'm absolutely disgusting. So I will be washing these before I put them back. This, that doesn't even sound like me because I'm such a clean freak. So I can't believe that I would put them back in here without washing them. But yeah, so I'm um, just a disclaimer. Some of these are not washed. Um, <laughs> So we're just gonna kind of um, look past that and not think about how absolutely disgusting of a human being that I am. Zoom you guys in a little bit. I hope you're seeing everything. Um, it's kind of hard for me to like look up in my viewfinder to see if you're seeing everything. And there's also a lot of small pieces and I want you guys to be able to see everything. So yeah, just, just bear with me. I hope this video is okay. So the first set right here, we have, whoops, where are you? Come here. So this first matching set are these little double zero um, skulls right here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep these because these are super fun. I don't wear these too often, but I mean, they're really freaking cool. Look how cute those are. I think the reason I don't wear them as much is because when I have them in, they don't look, they don't look like tunnels and I really like the look of tunnels. And they're also kind of like big and gaudy. So I, I don't really wear these that often, but they're still really cool and I'm gonna keep them. Look how like colorful everything is. Like, isn't that cool looking? Like, oh, I love that. This is very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, these disgusting things. What? <gasps> oh my God, those are repulsive. I'm gonna wash these, but I'm gonna keep them. They're just like heavy weighted double zero plugs. They're just, they're they're heavy, they're weighted, they're cool, they're all black, so I'm gonna keep those. Uh, we have my little, oh, I love these so much. These are, let's see if I can lay them out properly. These are my little shark tooth tunnels. They have the little double zero tunnels on top with the little shark teeth. Yeah, these are really freaking cool. And these are double flared and these double flared ones I can actually wear. I have some double flared ones in here that I can't wear for some reason. I'll show you guys those next, but these ones I can wear just fine. So I'm gonna keep my shark tooth ones. These ones are the ones that I cannot for the life of me put in. I think I was able to get them in once and I've never been able to get them in again, but they are these really pretty double flared wood plugs right here. Yeah, I tried with these and for some reason with wood, I can never get them to go inside my ears. Someone said something about double flared, you have to size down, but I don't want to size down and risk my ears shrinking. So yeah, um, as much as I love these, I'm probably going to part with these because I just can't get them to fit in my ears. I've tried all the techniques. I've tried massaging. I've tried it in the shower you know, stretching and massaging them, and I just cannot get these in. Everything that you guys have told me to do in the comments, I've tried, 
and I just can't do it uh, when I showed these in a haul. So I'm gonna part with these guys. Uh, next, we have another pair of one of my favorite double flared plugs. These are super fun. I love these. I get a lot of compliments on these, but these are my little zombie hand double flared plugs. So they have like the little zombie hand sticking out. And again, why are they so gross? Ew, I'm really exposing myself right now. Like, ugh. We're gonna keep these because I love these. We have my little Galaxy double zero plugs. I think these ones are like the twist. Oh no, they're just the O-ring. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these. These are really super pretty. I absolutely love these. Oh, I, I think I wanna wear these like right now, but they need to be washed. Ugh. We have one of my all time favorite pair. I get a lot of questions on these ones. These were bought off of Amazon for like 30 bucks, but these are my Michael Myers double zero tunnels and they have like the thing I don't like about these is it has like the little twist off in the back so you have to like twist this on when you have it in your ear and it can be kind of annoying and they're kind of a pain in the ass to clean because you have to get in between all the little grooves and stuff but I absolutely love these I think they're really really cool I get a lot of compliments on these like I said these were bought off of Amazon I'm keeping these for sure I have a the last pair in here is my tiger eye plugs. I think I got these from, oh god, I don't remember, Body Art Forms or Body Jewelry, something like that. They look really pretty in, so I'm going to keep these for sure. All right, this little section, we have some more plugs in here. These ones are basically all the same. They're just different colors, and I hardly ever wear these. I just don't wear these for whatever reason. The colorful plugs, I just, eh, I, I don't know. I don't like the look of them. I feel that they look too juvenile, to be perfectly honest with you. So I do not wear these very much, but I will keep a few colors in here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take all the O-rings off and I'm going to save the O-rings. If you have stretched ears and you use O-rings, you know how valuable these little guys can be. So let's just get these all out. Alright, and then some of these in here that I'm seeing are in between sizes. So these ones I'm going to keep, the little in between size ones, I'm going to keep those. So I'm going to set those off to the side. And then here are all of the colorful ones. Um, right off the bat, I already know which ones I'm probably not going to keep. Uh, these little, like, yellow neon ones. Probably not gonna keep these. I'm not gonna keep the red. I'm gonna take all the o-rings off first and save those. Um, I'm probably gonna get rid of these clear ones. I actually used, I did wear these quite a bit, but they are like really cracked and kind of damaged now, so I'm probably gonna get rid of the clear ones. Again, I'm just keeping all of the o-rings. I'm going to keep the orange ones and the black ones, because those are super cool, so I'm gonna hang on to those ones. I'm probably also going to keep the pink ones right here. I'll probably get rid of the purple ones just because I don't really like these that much. I got these really cheap off of Amazon so it's not like a huge loss or anything. And then I have these blue ones. I'm probably going to keep... I'm probably going to keep these ones as opposed to these ones. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep these ones because they're kind of like a lighter blue. And then I'll get rid of the darker blue ones because I feel like you just can't really see them all that well. Okay, guys, here's what we have left. All of this stuff right here. But my camera is getting a little bit hot, so I'm going to take a break and let my camera cool down for a minute. I'm going to go wash my absolutely disgusting collection of plugs. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll finish this. We'll do belly rings and nipple rings. We'll do those next. So see you guys. Well in just a second for you but like maybe 30 minutes for me so here we go all right i am back all of my plugs are nicely washed and cleaned everything is good the o-rings are clean so now we can officially move on to belly rings uh these three sections right here are all belly rings and i have them kind of like categorized i guess you could say these ones are more like silver decorative ones these are like um, holiday ones. Oh my gosh, is that another O-ring? Or is that a septum? That is a septum ring. Okay. Uh, these ones are like holiday ones, and these ones are just like standard 
belly button ring. So barbells on these ones are actually kind of long, so I can't wear these ones as much. Like uh, this one, for example, I love this belly ring so much, but if you can see how long this barbell is, it kind of like catches a lot and things like that. So while I do love these, I can't wear these as much. I'm very emotionally attached to my belly rings. I think out of all all my body jewelry, I am the most attached to my belly ring. So even though I can't wear a lot of these much anymore, I'm probably not going to be able to part with these because I just love them too much. Uh, so I just like to keep them for sentimental reasons? I don't know. So let's go ahead and start with this section right here. This first one, we have a black rose. It has like the black rose right here and then the little leaves with the little black rose down here with the matching black gem. Love this one. Definitely going to be keeping that one. We have a similar one, but this one is purple. Uh, I used to have a red one as well, but I wore that one so much that it broke. I really like these ones. They're just really pretty, and they just look really sexy. And so I'm definitely going to keep this one as well. Uh, this one, oh my gosh, was this one ever popular? Holy crap. So I have this super elaborate one, this angel wings with the blue gem. Oh my gosh, is this ever gorgeous? And it looks really pretty in as well. I... I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do not know where this is from. I have absolutely no clue where this one is from, but it's really pretty and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Uh, love this. If you guys just want to search like angel wing belly button rings, maybe you'll find something similar, but this one is so goddamn old. I've had this for years and years and years. For the life of me, I remember where it's from. I want to say like Chaos Factory from way back in the day, but I don't know. But I love this one. I have, oh, this one is really pretty. This like ornate one with like the little gems hanging down. Oof, this one's pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. This one that I just showed you guys, definitely gonna be keeping this one. Uh, it has like the little dragon hand or something like that, uh, holding on to the little ball. What? Oh no! We'll definitely be keeping that. I have this on, it's kind of similar to the other rose ones, but this one's a little bit shorter and it's just a little blue rose. Like a, like a light baby blue. Look how pretty that is. It's just, it's so cute, so. Keeping it. These two are so sexy. Oh, I love wearing these. The really like pretty out there dangly ones. Oh, oh, bitch. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely going to be keeping these ones. But all right, moving on to the holiday Halloween belly button rings. Oh, look, we have another, we have another in between sizer right here. Look at that. You can join your friends. Okay. Wow, look at all these right here. Uh, these ones, again, same with the other section. A lot of these I'm going to be keeping because I love them and Halloween is life. So yeah, we're gonna be keeping pretty much all of these, but we'll just run through them one by one really quick. So we have the little jack-o'-lantern, little pumpkin one right here. We just have a red and black standard size belly button ring right here. Uh, we have this one, look at that guy. It's like a red and black, and it, it's the same thing as kind of like the other dragon hand holding the ball thing that I showed you guys, but this one's like Halloween-y, and it's got like the red with the little hand. Oof, so cool. Oh, this one is so cool. I love this one. So this is the belly ring right here. It's got like the little spider in the middle, and then surrounding it is the little spider web. Super cool. I am actually deathly afraid of spiders, but I love spider jewelry and things like that. I'm really strange, I know, but that one's epic. Love that one. I have another spider one. This one is so realistic. Look at that one. Holy, doesn't that just give you the heebie-jeebies? Like if <laughs> there was a time I was wearing this one and I forgot I was wearing it and I took my shirt off and I was like, oh my fucking God, what is that? <laughs> Yeah, this one is like really realistic, but it's really freaking cool. We have this one, which is like a little skull head right here. Oops, sorry, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but we have the little skull head. Look at him with his little red eyes. Oh my god, so cool. We have the little bat with the little witch's head. Look how cute that one is. This one's really cool. So it's like a jack-o'-lantern on the bottom, and on the top we have like a little vampire Nosferatu head. That's really cool. We have my Batman belly button ring. There's actually a funny story behind this one. So I was at a music festival, Carnival of Chaos, 
and this was years ago, I want to say like 2016 or something, 2016, 2017, and at the music festival I lost my belly button ring that I was wearing, and I needed another one because I was super paranoid that it was going to close up on me, and I didn't want to risk that, so I went to Walmart, and I went to their body jewelry section, and I picked this one out and put this one in, so the rest of the music festival I was rocking a Batman belly button ring, a last minute emergency buy, but I ended up keeping it just for that memory but look how long that barbell is like I could never wear this today like that's way too long and the last one in that section is a red and black little dangly one and it has the little skeleton hand that hangs down really cool so I'm gonna keep all those uh, we have this section right here which is my biggest section oh, come on guys oh my god okay so we're gonna do this we're gonna eee, give me Take out this. Some of these I might part with and a lot of these I will be keeping. So look at all these. These are all just like other different kinds of belly rings. All right, again, we're just gonna run through these really, really quick, all right? So here we go. This one, little green sparkly bow. Love this one. Some of the gems, oh wait. Are they all in there? It looks like they're actually all in there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, used to be obsessed with this one. Used to wear this one all the time. Definitely gonna be keeping it. We have this guy right here, which is just sparkly little disco balls on the top and the bottom. We have this one, which I also get a lot of questions on. Uh, this little bat wing belly button ring. Uh, it has the pink gem with the pink gem on the top as well. Again, cannot remember for the life of me where the heck this one was from, but honestly, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. Even though it looks really cool, do not recommend this one at all because I don't know if you can see, but the bat wings, see how can I show this the bat wings move like do you see them jiggling so in the middle of the night you know you're going to sleep you have this in your belly button and then out of nowhere in the middle of the night these wings will poke inside your belly button so you'll go to roll over on your stomach and then these wings will just like tss, right in your belly button and it fucking hurts so even though this one's super cool looking it's not the most comfortable but I'm keeping it. We have this really pretty flower one with the little opal gem in the middle. Love it. Oh my gosh, we have one of my oldest ones. Holy cow, I think I got this back in like 2013, 2014. It is my little Playboy Bunny belly button ring. I got this one from Amazon. I love this one and the barbell is actually a good length like I can I can wear that size so this one I really like it and I keep this one because it is my oldest one that I have and I still absolutely love it so freaking much we have this one which is really cool it's like this little snowflake one and look watch what it does do you guys see that it like spins, like it's really, it's so cute. I love this one. We have this kind of like bigger diamond looking one, really pretty. These always look really nice in belly piercings. I love these. We have just a plain all white one. That's really pretty. I have this one, which is kind of more of like a pearl looking one at the bottom. Uh, this one, it's okay. I don't, I'm not like over the moon about it, but it's pretty, so. I'm going to keep it. Just a little disclaimer, I'm keeping all of my belly rings, okay, guys? Like, actually, no, I see one. I see one that I'm going to get rid of, and it's this one. This one right here. So this one I like because the barbell is really short. All of my belly rings, by the way, are either a 14 gauge or a 16 gauge. Some of them are 14, some of them are 16. I can make both of them work. It really doesn't matter. This one I've had forever, and this is what I was wearing in my belly ring for, like, a year and a half because this is the only one that fit but the top ball is like I don't know it just it doesn't match and it looks kind of weird I don't know I don't know do I want to keep this one wait where does this ball where do you go Ugh, I'm like second guessing myself now guys like do I want to keep this one Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna part with this one. We have another really short little simple gem one. This is actually, I think this is actually technically like a rook or an eyebrow piercing, but I can wear this in my belly ring and it actually fits. So I'm gonna keep this one. We have this one, which I honestly, I don't know. I don't really like this. It looks kind of juvenile to me. I'm sorry if that like offends any of you, but 
it's kind of just like this sparkly confetti ball right here. Yeah, I, I probably won't ever wear this. So I'm gonna part with this one. I have another really simple short one that I showed, like kind of similar to the one that I showed you guys before the last one. Uh, this one's cute. I'm pretty sure, again, I got this and this is like an eyebrow or a rook piercing, but I got it for my belly and it fits just fine. So we're gonna hang on to this guy for a little bit longer. But the last two that I have before I show you guys my go-tos, are these ones and these are just your standard belly rings this one is just a little silver one right here and then this one is kind of like an opal-y looking one the barbells are really really long you know what I think I'm actually gonna part with these because the barbells are just way too long and then all of the rest of these are my newest belly ring and these are my new go-to's and the reason is because the barbell on these are super, super short. So I got these in a 10 pack from Ofer, I believe. I'm wearing the all black one in my belly ring right now, so I don't have that one here. But these ones are my newest ones, 10 pack from Ofer, like I said, and these are my new go-tos. These are the ones that I wear the most. And the reason for that is because, I don't know if you can see, barbell on these are really, really short and they fit my belly ring absolutely perfect like a dream and they just come with all these different colors so those two that I just decluttered I have literally right here they're basically the exact same right here so the silver and like the opaly one right here but they these will actually fit me so we have pink gold rose gold red blue green purple like these are I absolutely love 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 these I showed these in an Ofer body jewelry haul not super super long ago and these are my favorite things ever because I can finally wear stuff in my belly ring again and they fit perfectly and these are all 14 gauge so definitely going to be hanging on to these guys for sure Okay guys, we got through the belly rings. We have a bunch of like random shit floating around down here. I don't even know what this is. Um, I think next we're going to jump into this section and this is nipple rings, industrial bars, just a bunch of random stuff. I see septum piercings in here. Why? I don't fucking know why they're in here. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go through this section real quick and then we have it what is this is that it was that my old tongue ring oh my god i think this was my old tongue ring <gasps> oh look at that rest in peace okay first things first these ones right here where's the other one right here okay these ones right here these were sent to me by ofer i'm pretty sure and these are industrial bars uh they are halloween themed as you can see uh, I do not have my industrial pierced. Uh, I think they sent these to me as just part of the Halloween collection. So we have the little bat one right here and the little jack-o'-lantern one. Uh, seeing as how I do not have an industrial piercing and I have no plans to get an industrial piercing, I'm going to part with these because I just, I don't need them. I don't have this piercing. All right, so here are all of my nipple rings, and I'm pretty sure we also have some tongue rings mixed in here as well, so, oh, that makes me so sad. Like, while I miss my tongue piercing, I don't miss what it did to my bottom tooth because that gum line is so receded, like, that tooth is gonna fall out any day now, but so, <laughs> while I miss my tongue ring, I don't miss it at the same time. So there are gonna be some tongue rings in here, like this, for example, this was a tongue ring. Uh, I do not need this one anymore, so we're gonna part with that one. Let's get into it. Let's look at these nipple rings. So this first set right here, I know I'm definitely gonna get rid of. I don't know if you guys can see how crusty and rusty these are. Oh my gosh, did I wear these to death. So they're just these little like diamond nipple rings, and these were really cute in, but when it comes to my nipple piercings personally, simple is better. Simple to me is sexier and while I did enjoy these the little grooves right here did catch quite a bit But I loved these you guys like these were very much used very much loved 
but they're just looking a little crusty and I'm gonna part with these ones. This next pair of nipple rings that I'm definitely gonna keep are these really cool neon orange ones. These were so fun and not to be like TMI or anything, but my boyfriend really, really liked the neon one, so I'm gonna keep those ones. This pair I absolutely loved. I actually had these in for a little over a year as well and they're just like the nipple bars with the little black balls on the end. I'm definitely gonna keep these ones because I really did like these. I'm wearing just plain silver barbells in them now because I just prefer that look more but I love my black ones. It actually is starting to wear right here on one of them which kind of makes me a little bit sad but that's okay. They're still usable so I'm gonna hang on to these for a little bit longer. I have these really cool and exciting ones. Uh, these are nipple barbells and they have the little bats hanging down. These looked crazy okay like I tried these on and they were gnarly looking, but they're super cool. It's definitely something I would never, ever, ever, ever wear on like an everyday basis, but I'm gonna hang on to these because these are pretty fun, you know, just for like spooky season, so I'm gonna hang on to those ones. These ones right here are also Halloween themed, and I am going to part with these ones. While I did like them, the little like witch's hat and the little wings on the back caught on everything in the shower, on towels, on clothes, on bras, and they just weren't very comfortable. So I'm probably gonna part with these ones. We have another tongue ring. Oh my gosh, my all black tongue ring. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Oh, the good old days, the good old tongue ring days. I'm gonna get rid of all my tongue rings because I don't need them anymore. I don't have that piercing anymore. And then we have three of these. And I actually just remembered, I think when I got my nipples pierced, they were pierced at a 16 gauge and then I stretched them up to a 14. And I'm pretty sure these are all 16 gauge. And this is why I love those little cards that we talked about in the beginning. I can just grab the little card right here and I can hold barbell up. Yep, so that is a 16 gauge. So these ones I don't need anymore because my nipples are no longer at a 16 gauge, they are at a 14. So I'm gonna throw those out. All right, I'm gonna hang on to this one 14 gauge in case I need an extra one if I lose one or if I need a ball. I'm gonna hang on to the, this one and I'm going to throw out these two 16 gauge ones. Uh, what are these neon orange ones? Oh my God, please be 14, please be 14. Oh, thank God, okay, they're 14. Woo, all right, we're good. These come in handy so much, I love these. And here's what I narrowed it down to. So there are all of my nipple rings. Hey okay, guys, and then this whole last section right here, this is lip, ear, nose, septum. What I'm gonna do, is I'm going to move this back and I'm just gonna start taking all of my septum rings out and we're just gonna lay them out on the table and we're gonna go through them just one at a time. And there are some like random nose rings in here. All right, so I got everything all laid out. Here are all of my septum pieces with a few like random pieces that were in there as well. Like this little random ball we don't need anymore. We have uh, these little CBR rings right here. These are 18 gauge. I have no use for those. So I'm gonna part with those. We have some of these like little random uh, pieces right here, which I'm pretty sure they were CBRs at one point, but I lost the balls to them as you can see So I don't really have a use for those guys anymore either So we can part with those we have like this random janky ass piece right here Like Lord only knows what the hell that was from we have a missing ball on this guy over here that we can get rid of we have a nose ring that belongs with my nose rings and this is another little nose ring and the rest, oh, we have another missing ball one over here. And the rest are all of my septum pieces. So we have some colorful ones. We have this white one. Oh my gosh, I loved this one. But as you can see, I don't know if you, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. It is quite stained with like makeup and just over time, it's just kind of turned a little bit yellow, kind of like with these plugs too. It's just kind of like yellowed out and I don't know why. So I might try to bleach this one maybe, try to like bring the color back to life. 
but I'm gonna hold on to the pink and the white one. Uh, we have my little black ones. We have my black horseshoe that I'm gonna keep. Same with my silver little seamless clicker one that I'm going to keep. We have my little skull one that I absolutely love. That's a keep. We have other clickers that I love. I'm gonna keep this little purple one. This one, I love this one so much. This one is eight millimeters in diameter and my septum is a 10. So this one is a little bit short and it does make my septum very, very sore when I wear it because it's just too small and too tight. But I do love this one and I refuse to get rid of it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, we have this really cool triangle one. This is one of my newest ones. This one, they it's a 10, but I should have got a 12 because this one is also a little bit tight. I think it's just because of the style of this one, but I still like it. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, we have this guy right here. He's really cool. I'm going to hold on to him. Uh, let's see. This beautiful one. I originally got this one because I thought I would be able to use it for my date piercing, but it's actually too big to go on my date. Like, it pokes my ear too much. So this one I'm going to keep as a septum. I haven't worn this one in my septum yet, but it might be a little bit loud for me, but it's still really cool and really beautiful, so I'm going to hold on to that. Oh my gosh, I have these ones. These ones are really high quality handmade ones that I got oh gosh, six, seven years ago, and I love these. And I have a gold one and a couple little silver ones. I do like these. They are really, really old and very, very well loved. I wear these ones all the time. They're probably, it's probably getting close to their expiration date, honestly, but I just, I can't let them go yet. So I'm gonna hang on to those guys. And then the rest are just little horseshoes because I do wear these a lot and I do like to have a whole bunch of these. This one... This one looks to be 18 gauge, not 16, but let's line her up here. Okay, yeah, so this one right here is an 18 gauge. I have no use for that. This one looks like it is also 18. That's just too small for my septum. Yeah, that's another 18. Let's see what this one is. All right, that one's a 16. This one I know is a 16. Let's see, what's this one? Yep, that one's 16. That one's 16, and this one is 16. Okay, so I'm getting rid of all of the 18 gauge ones that I don't need and all of like the broken pieces. And then these are all of the septum ones that I am keeping. So here's all my septum rings. Uh, those are the ones that I'm going to hang on to. Those are all 16 gauge because that is what my septum is. And these guys can all go bye-bye. Okay, so there's all my septums out of the way. Next, let's move on to nose rings. Oh my lord, here we go, guys. That's nose, 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 the nose, nose. Okay, so here are all of my nose rings and things, uh, and then just a couple little random pieces over here that were just hanging out at the bottom. Uh, this one's gonna be quite easy because I have a very specific look that I like for my nose, and these ones and these ones are nowhere near my style. So how I ended up with these ones, uh, they're actually this style right here. They kind of look like little itty bitty mini like rings, like engagement rings. I ended up with these because my mom, she also has a double nose piercing. I know, my mom's a badass. She buys nose rings all the time to like try them out and stuff. And she never likes them and then just gives them to me and I just hang on to them for whatever reason. But I know right now these are not my style. I would never wear anything like this. Too many of them and I just don't, yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Any that I like. Yeah, so I'm gonna part with all of these guys. Just gonna put those off to the side there. Um, this baggie right here is all nose rings. So, okay. 
you can come over here. That's where you belong. So this is going to be pretty easy. This gold one and this blue one, I don't need. I'm never going to wear them because there's only singles and I have four nose piercings. So I'm not just going to wear one. I'm going to get rid of those ones. And then I have all of my regular nose rings. I like to keep a very specific look for my nose rings. I don't like to wander or explore different avenues or different looks. I have what I, I like what I like and I keep what I like. So I have just silver nose hoops and black ones. And you will see that some of these are smaller than the other ones. I discovered that I really, really like the look of super, super tight, snug, nose hoops. I do not like when people wear really big nose hoops in their nose and they like stick out. It's, ugh, I hate it. It's ugly to me. I'm definitely 100% going to be keeping these little black ones. These little silver ones right here. I'm going to keep those. Okay. These two are a matching set. I'm going to keep those. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of these ones and then I'll just have to go on and buy duplicates of the kind that I like. So here are all of the hoops that I'm going to be keeping. And obviously I have hoops in my nose right now, so I do have more, but these are the hoops that I'm going to be keeping. Okay, and then we have random shit right here, like we have a barbell, uh, like a flat back with nothing on it, and then we have a little, oh, it's a CBR ball, which probably went to one of those septum rings that I just threw out, so that's cool. Well, we don't need it now, join your friends. Okay, and then in this one are all little nose studs. Now, I don't wear nose studs a whole lot. I really like the look of hoops. So let's see what we got in here. Got a bunch of, gosh, these are all so tiny and so hard to see, I apologize. There's quite a few in here that I'm probably not going to keep. We have my little paw print one. I'm gonna keep that one. Ooh, these ones I'm definitely gonna keep. Uh, they have like the little tiny balls on the end. I love this look, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to those guys. I have these kind of like bigger, more like ornate looking nose ones, which I don't really wear. I don't really like the look of those ones, at least for my current look. Like back when I had like one or two, nose piercings they looked fine but now that I have four in my nose it's it's a bit much so I'm not gonna wear those oh we have my little bat oh my gosh my little gold my little gold Halloween I'm gonna hang on to that one that one's cute book this random black one I'm gonna get rid of because I do not need just one black one I'm gonna have to go on and get like matching duplicates I have another one of those ones that I really like with the little ball on the end. We have my matching little orange. Yeah, this is a mat yeah, matching set. Just like orange nose rings. I'm gonna hold on to those because they are a matching set. And do, 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 do. I think these are matching. Yeah, we have another matching set that I'm gonna hang on to. Another one of those ones with the little balls on the end. Those are my favorite kind of nose studs to wear. Then we just have like some random ones. Like we have a nose bone right here. Uh, I'm going to throw that one out. See, what are these ones? Are you guys a matching set? Definitely not. I like, I like to have matching sets. If I don't have matching sets, like I don't want them just because I have so many nose piercings. <laughs> this is a matching set, but they're too small for my liking, so I'm going to depart with those. And then this random one is really small. I don't even think it has a gem in it anymore. Yeah, I'm going to throw that one out too. Okay. There are my nose hoops and my nose studs that I'm going to be keeping, and we're going to get rid of the ones that I'm not going to wear. Okay, guys, so it looks like we only have lip rings and earrings to do next. What do I want to do first? Let's do lip. Okay, we're going to do all my lip ones. So we're just going to start pouring them out of the little bags because a lot of these are just in random bags here. And again, they have to have a matching set because I have my Medusa and my Lebray pierced. So there has to be a matching set and well, I do like with the exception of a couple of them. I think these are all lip too. Except that. What the fuck is that doing in there? Okay, here we go. First off, let's kind of spread these out. What the fuck is this? Why is that? Why is that in there? Oh my gosh, this is all sorts of jambled up in here. All right, so I have these two little black barbells right here. Those technically belong in ears, so I'm just going to put those with the ears. I do not know... Oh, 
What did I, what did I, I got this for a reason. What did I get this for? Is this just like another, is this another septum? Yep, you're a 16. Okay, I think this is supposed to be a septum. So I'm gonna put that with my septums. Let's get the, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. So this one right here, it's called a lip hugger. And it, it, it looks weird right now, but if you look at like pictures of what they look like in, they look really cool. And I wanted to try one. So I got one, but unfortunately this is way too big. I got way too big of a size and I have absolutely no use for it. So I'm going to depart with that little guy right there. I have a matching set right here that I know I'm going to keep. And that's just my little green opal lip set. Uh, what other matching sets do we have here? Oh, we have my matching black set. Sorry, this is so hard to do with nails. These nails, it's almost time for them to come off. I've had them on for almost two weeks now and they're starting to like lift and look bad, so just don't mind that. We have my matching black set that I'm going to keep for my Medusa and my Labre. We have this guy. Uh, this is an extra one. So in my lip right now, I have just the plain silver ball in my Medusa and Labre. And I like that look and I bought an extra one just in case one falls out and I lose it. So I am going to keep that one for that purpose. I have this one as well and this one is a little bit longer, which I am going to keep this one because if I have an issue with one of my lip rings and it starts to swell a little bit and I need a little extra room, I keep a little extra longer one to accommodate any potential swelling. Like I'm gonna keep that one. These ones I don't have matching sets for, but I am going to keep these because I really like them. I could wear these in my Medusa and then wear a ring in my Labre and I feel like that would be a really cute look. So even though they're not matching, I'm gonna keep these. because This one is the same as the black set that I showed you, but these are just uh, the silver kind matching set. Keep those. These little like Bioplast pushback ones, I'm gonna get rid of because they're just way too long. And here's all the ones I have left. I'm basically just kind of scanning the top of them and looking for matching sets. And so far I'm not seeing any. I am gonna keep this extra little silver one. It's kind of like another in case I lose one of my other ones. So I'll keep that one. And the rest of these, yeah. I'm not seeing any other matching sets here. I have this set of three pink ones. They're all different sizes. So I think, for the rest of these, yeah, like I like these little, the matching opal set right here, but these are just way too small. So I'll probably actually keep these for ear. So I'll throw those in there. And then the rest of these, I'm probably just gonna get rid of because none of them match and they're just too small to wear on my lip. So we will say adios to those. Are all of my lip rings that I'm going to keep. Oh, wait, scratch that. I have some right here, so. I'm gonna keep those. These are uh, 16 gauge, eight millimeter lip rings that go in my Libre piercing together. I thought I bought a black one and I don't know where it is because I could have swore I bought a black one to match. Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go nuts now. Oh, I'm so sad. I literally just got it and I haven't even, oh wait, is this it right here? <gasps> oh my God, I found it. I found it, I found it. It's right here. Oh my gosh, thank God, okay. So here are all my lip rings together that I'm keeping. And what I'm gonna do actually is, boom, there we go. There's all my lip rings, ta-da! Okay guys, and then the final section that we have left is all ear stuff. And there's a lot of it, like look at, look at all that. Oh my gosh, and they're all so tiny too. And remember this bag of the 10 millimeter, uh, Bioplast ones from the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna put those with ear too. And we're just gonna go through these really quickly and just pick out ones I'm gonna keep, ones I'm gonna get rid of. A lot of these I do wear on a pretty regular basis. It's just a matter of getting rid of stuff that is old, worn out, gross, you know, things like that. So let's Oh boy, let's jump into it. So these, I can't remember if these are, if you can cut these down because these are just too long for any of my piercings. I think I actually might part with these. 
Yeah, because I don't, I don't know if these are the ones that you can cut down to size or not. If I can't, I'm going to get rid of them. If I can, I might keep a couple of them, so I'll just set those off to the side. This one, we're going to get rid of. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is a, like, spider web little earring right here. Just like the little, yeah, as you can see. And this one is just rusted beyond belief. I wore this one for, like, eight months straight, and it's just, like, oh, boy, it just got destroyed. So we're going to throw that one away. My little conch, this is my conch. Where's the ball? Here it is. Okay. So this is my little CBR that I like to wear in my conch every once in a while, and I love this. I'm going to keep it. But the reason why I don't wear it too often is because CBRs are the biggest pain in my rear end ever. Like, they're so hard to put back together, and I just, I hate dealing with them. So I'll have to, like, get that one. This one I'm going to keep. It's just my little ghost earring right here. I'm also going to keep this one. A lot of these are Halloween, so we have a little spider web with a little spider. We have a little black spider right here with some red gems. Going to keep that one. We have a black star with a little orange gem in the middle. Going to keep that one. These are like all my Halloween ones. We have this cute little jack-o'-lantern. We have my little bat earring. I'm gonna keep that one. My little witch's hat. Some of the little yellow paint wore off, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Little Nosferatu. Oh my gosh, I love this earring. My little vampire Nosferatu earring. We have this one. This is for my rook. It's just a black curved barbell. I'm gonna hang on to him. I'm gonna hang on to these just little plain black barbells. Those are cute, so I'll keep those just in case. You never know if I want to do like an all black look. We're gonna keep my conch one, obviously. I just need to put the ball back on that guy. And a lot of these, like I said, are just for random piercings, like my helix, my tragus. It's a bunch of random pieces, so... All right, let's see. I have this matching set of CBRs that I showed you guys in the beginning. I'm gonna hang on to those for like my forward helix piercings or something. We have this guy right here that actually looked really cute in my rook. It worked really well, so I'm gonna keep that one for my rook piercing. I know it doesn't like look like a rook piercing jewelry, but it's really cute actually, and it, it worked great, so I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, this one looks cute in like a date that fit that this one was in my date for a really long time I'm gonna hang on to that one uh, This one. I don't know Hmm I can't I got this one for a purpose, but I can't remember what it was for. I don't know if it was for my tragus or my helix yeah, I can't remember, but it's cute and it's new, so we're gonna hang on to him. We have these beautiful pieces that I showed you guys in a haul not too long ago, and I love these right here, so I'm gonna hang on to those guys. Absolutely beautiful pieces. We have this absolutely gorgeous tiger eye. Ugh, I love this one so much. Definitely gonna hang on to that one as well. We have my little shears right here. I got these because I am a dog groomer, and these are so cute. I've gotten so many of these. I love these. I keep this little opal moment right here. This looks really nice in a conch. We have this one, this little like gem. It kind of looks like a paw print, so I'm gonna hang on to him. I have my little Playboy bunny. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. So cute. This looks really cute in a helix. I have these little rings right here that I have in my tragus and in some of my helix piercings. So I just have an extra one right here that I'm going to hang on to. This is kind of just like a little flower, flower design. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that one. These little bioplast ones. I think what I'm going to do for these bioplast ones is I'm going to keep the larger gemmed ones and then get rid of the smaller ones. Right, I'm going to hang on to these two bioplast ones, this, these little gems, and then the other ones I'm going to get rid of. I have another little rook piece right here, just another little curved barbell. I have these two little opal moments that look really nice in the conch or in a helix. So I have this one right here and then this little guy right here that I'm going to keep. I have a very like random taste in case you can't tell. I have another Halloween one. This is just a little jack-o'-lantern. I have these really long barbells. So these were obviously from when I got fresh ear piercings. I don't know what ear piercings these were for. I think this one was for like my conch when I got it done. And this one might have been for a helix. I don't need these anymore because they're just too long. So I'll just 
uh, set those off to the side because I don't need them anymore. I have another really long one that I don't need anymore. I have this guy that looks really nice in the Daith, Tragus, or Helix. That's the one thing that I really like about ear piercing jewelry is that it's very versatile. So, you know, you can use it for a bunch of different things. And then I just have these random pieces right here that I'm probably not gonna keep because they're just too small for, oh wait, no, I wanted to keep these two. I'm gonna keep yeah, okay, these are the ones I wanted to keep. I'm going to keep these two little opal ones right here, and then I'll probably get rid of this one. Okay, guys, so there is what my desk is looking like right now, now that everything is separated and organized. Whew. Oh my gosh, this took forever. So I started filming this video at 7.30, and it is now after 10 o'clock at night. So now the only thing we have to do is organize and put everything back in here. And I just need to figure out the best way to do that. So let's get into it. And I have a lot of these extra baggies and I'm actually gonna keep these to store. Oh wait, not that one. I'm gonna keep these to store body jewelry in, especially like the little pieces like my nose studs and nose hoops I'm gonna store in there. Uh, my earrings, things like that, lip rings, because they're just too small to just throw freely in here because they're just going to move all around and get all jumbled. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of these extra little baggies right here. And I also have these things. I have these like, these are so like, what the hell are these? I don't even know. They're just these little plastic things. Lord only knows where I got these from, but I you would use these to store stuff in and just some packaging from body candy that I can store stuff in, so yeah. So we just have a bunch of different things we can do here. All right, so we have this cleaned out and ready to start putting stuff back in here. All right, so I think I'm gonna do like my plugs and tunnels and things like that uh, right in the center again. How many of you are annoyed? By that. Oh my god, that word makes people so upset. Um, I'm just gonna put that one down in here and then I'm gonna start laying them all together and everything is nice and clean. I made sure I cleaned all of my plugs, tunnels, gauges, o-rings, made sure those were nice and fresh. So I put them back in here. I basically just filled my sink with like warm soapy water and let them soak and then just took them out individually and scrubbed them in my hand. It was very tedious and took a while, but at least they're all clean. So there, there's all the big ones. As you can see over in the corner here, we have all the O-rings and then we have all of the little plugs and stuff over here. So we're gonna start putting O-rings back on. Okay, and then I'm gonna put these here. Okay, so we have all of my plugs and things here, all of my bigger ones here. And I'm going to use one of these extra little bags and I'm actually going to store all of extra O-rings in here just in case I lose one and I need a new one because that does happen from time to time. All the little O-rings and I'm actually going to slide those. I think I'm gonna slide them right here. Okay, those are all organized and then these little half size ones that I used in my stretching journey. I'm gonna keep those with the rest of my stretching kit and that's just gonna go with like uh, the rest of my piercing tools. Next, I think what I'm going to do, I should probably keep ear closer to here, right? That makes more sense. And there's probably gonna be people who don't like how I am doing this, but I don't care because my body jewelry, <laughs> If this were your body jewelry, you can do it however you like, but I'm just doing it the way that is easiest for me and for my life. So, 
It would be really nice if I could keep all my body jewelry in just one and then use the other empty one for like tools, hemostats, uh, things like that. So I'm trying to think of like the best way to do this. So I think right here I'm going to put my nipple rings. And then I think next to that I'm going to put septum. All right, and then for my septum, I'm gonna put them in this little baggie. Whoops. So that way they all stay together. And then when I need to grab a new one, I can just go in here. There we go. Little baggie for all my septum rings. Oh, that's better. And then next to septum, I think I'm going to put nose. Okay, and then for my nose, I'm gonna use two different baggies. One is going to be for like nose hoops and one's gonna be for nose studs. And I know this is gonna be really, really hard to see because these are so incredibly tiny. So just kinda bear with me here. Okay, so there's all my nose hoops. And doing this with nails is also incredibly hard. So, so it's kinda hard to see, but now we have nose hoops and nose studs. And those can just go right in there. Oh my gosh, much better. Things aren't just floating all, all about. All right, next I'm going to put lip piercings right here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use another little baggie and just put all of my lip rings. So we have this little container holding my actual rings. And then that can go there. And then in this baggie is where we will put all of the little studs, just like that. And then we'll just boop, slide it right in there. So I think that's why I made this label for just regular earrings. So I'll put those up top there and I'll just throw those loosely in there. So I have like my little diamond ones. That one. Just regular earrings up there. And then in this one, I think is where I'm gonna put all of my helix slash other <laughs> earrings. I said it probably won't make sense to you guys, but it will make sense to me. Like when I see helix, oh, so like all my ear piercings basically. When I see ear, oh, all my regular earrings. So that's kind of how I'm doing that. I'm gonna put my rings, like my finger rings, I think I'm gonna put down here and then these will be navel. Okay. Oh, and remember how I talked about these were a maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these ones. And I think I'm gonna utilize these little plastic things again for my um, helix piercings. And I think how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use the square one for all of my rook, so all of my curved barbells. This one, that one. And I'll probably also put hoops in here as well. So hoops and rook can go in there. Good. And then in this little circular one will be all of my Helix, if they'll fit. I don't know if they'll all fit in here, but we shall see. Oh my gosh, we did it! Woohoo! There we go. And then those can go right there. Look at that. So that way I can be like, oh, I need to change a helix piercing right here. And then here is where I keep all my hoops and rook. So, okay, that makes sense to me. That's all that matters. Here we go. And then I think down here is where I will put, I think I actually wanna keep all my navel piercings separate. So I'll just put this here. So I'll put my more like dangly extravagant ones there. My little non-dangly pretty ones there. And then all of my Halloween ones there. So there's all of my belly rings. So there is that one all done. And as you can see, we still have an empty one right here. So that's really good. Um, I'm gonna keep that empty for now and we're gonna move on to the other empty one. 
and put all of my piercing care slash tools in that one. So right up top, I'm gonna get rid of these little dividers right here. And here is where I'm going to put tools. Okay, and then this is where my hemostats, oh no, are they gonna fit? Oh no, I don't know if these will fit. I don't know if it'll close, fuck. Okay, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, here, let's try this. Hello. Aha, much better. Okay, and we'll also put my little ball catcher thing in there as well. And down here in this empty one, I'm going to put all of my piercing care stuff. So that'll be like my alcohol wipes and those little cards that you guys saw me use throughout the video. We'll just put those in there. And then I was gonna put my tea tree oil in there, but I ended up not keeping it. So we'll just do that. And then all of these little half sizes from my stretching kit, I'm gonna put in this little baggie. And I'll obviously know that these are in between sizes for stretching. And then we have my stretching kit. So we're gonna go in order 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, and then my double zeros right here. And those I will just put right here. And then my in-between sizes right here. I'm going to put this little empty case just with my piercing tools. And then in this very last one, we're going to put my little travel bag. Look how much better this looks. And we still have an empty spot right here. <gasps> I'm in love. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. Three hours of filming and decluttering and organizing. All right, let's roll the before and after shots. Here we go. Let's do it. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with all your notifications on. I'm super glad we got to do this together. Love you all very, very much. But until then, I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.